So I was scrolling through the old Facebook reels yesterday. You know, those uh, that thing everybody definitely uses over TikTok for sure. And I came across this guy. This is, uh, I think his name is Bari or something like that, just based off the information I found on his site. Uh, and he is shelling Android boxes. But this is... This is a special case of Android box predatory scammers slash overpricers because his prices, his marketing is actually pretty good and I have a feeling he's actually pretty big. So we're gonna be taking a look at all this information. There's a chance that you might even have been fooled by this guy at some point. Uh, and I'm going to explain to you what exactly he's doing, how much he's overcharging, and you'll be crazy shocked when I break down the numbers and really what marketing tactics he's using to get these sales as well, which are kind of scummy on top of that. Now, I want to start by saying, okay, I have no issue with people selling these boxes and stuff like that and making a profit off of it. But it's when you're making this kind of profit, it's when you're using these kind of tactics to suck people into those sales, that's what I have an issue with. Um, and we're gonna go over all that today. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down below, give this video a big thumbs up. And like always, make sure you comment down below. I like to shout out different comments every single video. And for the first one to two hours of the video, I usually answer all of your comments down below. So let me know what you think of this guy and how much he's charging for these devices. Today's comment comes from Greatest2005, who said, hey, upgrade guy, what version of Android do these run? And he's referring to the uh, ONN streaming box and they run Android 10 currently. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So this is my best go at uh, you know a little CoffeeZilla. If you guys don't watch CoffeeZilla, he's an internet detective. Um, so we're gonna break down a lot of information on this guy right here. This is the techguy.io. Now, I don't use the word scammer lightly. Scammer is an interesting word because it has a bit of a, a varying scale on it, right? Now, this guy is, if we were talking about scamming, he'd be on the very low end, okay? Because I, I consider this more predatory marketing and, um, you know, very, very veil thin lines here of lying, right? So he's on the verge of lying slash uh, using some very shady marketing tactics uh, and also upselling, but upselling to a price that's uh, even unacceptable for e retro game, game sellers out there, right? Like we're talking about some big, big price gouging here. So we'll get into it. So I came across a few of his videos and he, he, it's just your classic Facebook marketplace seller, you know, like, oh, we, we're going to load it up with this. You get all this for all this prices, which is probably honestly true to, to be fair. Um, he sells some other stuff as well. So it looks like he, 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 he purchases bulk from most likely China, right off Alibaba and stuff like that. We'll break that down and then sells it. But his main seller are, is this 6K box. That's what I keep hearing him refer to 6K box box. And this guy hates fire sticks. Okay. He throws them in the trash. Nothing wrong with a fire stick, my dude. We both know that. Don't don't lie here. Fire sticks are actually pretty good. So we're going to go to this one video here. We're just going to watch a little, little bit here. Uh, and I'm going to see what you guys think of this. First things first. Let's see who just commented. Get rid of your fire stick. You already know. Get rid of your fire stick. Because these new 6K TV boxes are off the chains, okay? So you hear that right there. He said, somebody commented, somebody commented. I can't see it. Um, but he said, get rid of your fire stick, which is one of his favorite lines in the reels. And he said, because these new 6K, and that's what he keeps referring to out of all these videos. It's always referring to that one word, 6K, which, you know, people think of 2K, they think of 4K, and they're like, oh my God, 6K, mind blown, right? Um, and we'll break down 6K here a little bit too, and why that's very, very misleading. Um, but we'll get to that once we look a little more at what he's selling. You can kind of see the boxes behind there. Okay, let's go. Let's see. How do you get the new 6K TV box and what is the price? So the only way to get this new 6K TV box is actually gonna be on the website. So he said the only way to get this new 6K box is on his website. Okay, we're gonna get to that in a little bit. So I went and did a little investigating on him and what he's selling. So I, you know, I obviously head over to his website, and as you can see, this guy's pretty big. So props to him. It, you know, it seems like he's created a, a big business for him. I would say to him, be careful, right? Omni the Hellcat notoriously uh, did something similar, although he was running a service. This is no more. 
uh, gray line than what Omni was doing. So I would say to my friend here, uh, be very, very careful with uh, your advertising on social media. But let's head over to his website and what exactly he was offering here. So it's your normal pricing marketing strategy, right? So he puts up this fake price here, $700, which he knows nobody would ever pay for. And the price is actually 328. Now, I don't know if that automatically converted to Canadian or if that is US. When I first clicked on it, it said 240 to be fair. And then when I refreshed the page, it went to 328. So again, I don't know if that was something to do with the website updating or if that has converted it to Canadian. So we'll, we'll, we'll be fair. Basically, what he's doing is he's buying these boxes. And this is where we're going to break down a little bit more of uh, what the device is actually worth. He's buying these boxes off Alibaba or a, a very similar website. Okay, we can go to DHgate in this case. Um, now, the price you can get these for when you're ordering 500 or 1,000 of these, and by the number of boxes I saw behind him in a few of these videos, I imagine he's ordering hundreds plus an order. I don't know if it'd be quite as much as 10,000, but my guess is he's getting these for around $20 a piece, okay? Um, so actually, let's go to his site here. Let's add this to cart, and let's see if this shows us whether it's Canadian or... Uh... By the way, you can also finance these boxes on his site, which I find really weird. So it just says 328. So again, I don't know. Let's go proceed to checkout. Is that US or Canadian? I'm obviously not going to enter it. So I, it's a US site. I'm going to assume it's it's US and it's not converting. Uh, sometimes it does though, depending on what plugin he's using and stuff. So yeah, but you could see you could finance it with, uh, Car is it called Karna? Klarna? Which is hilarious. I think that's so funny. You can finance them as well. Uh, but let's go back. So. $20 a box. Now, basically what he's doing is he's getting these boxes in bulk. He's buying them in large amounts, which means he gets them at an even cheaper price. This is probably the exact box he has. It's the one that says 6K decoding, etc., HDR10, 4K, FPS. Anyways, if you've ever used these Android boxes, they're essentially all the same, a few different specs inside. They add a few different over-the-top features every year, like uh, this time it has 8 gigs of RAM. You know what I mean? Um, and then they just resell them. Now, I don't know which model he's getting, but either way, they're going to be around the same price. So let's say $20 each. He's then getting them in, which he's probably getting free shipping for the most part on orders that big. He's then getting them in. He's putting three apps on them, most likely on a USB drive. I'm telling you the exact process here. Yeah, he might even have more of an automated process, to be fair. Putting three apps on it, maybe four. Okay, one of them being the, the IP app, which then he probably gives you either a month or maybe a year completely free, which you're going to say, wow, that's a big cost. No, not for him. That cost actually could be as low as around $30, I think, for a year. Uh, it might even be less than that, depending on how big and bulk he's buying his credits in. So all in, if we're being fair, 40 to 50 bucks, this is costing him. And what is what is he selling that for again? Oh, oh, 328 so we're talking about a six to seven inch uh, X markup. And I'm being fair here because this could actually be even lower. Even if we're accounting for time and labor, you know, what do you add? An extra 15 bucks for his time? Like it's not a lot of time effort into this. And with how big he is, I imagine he has lots of sales. Now let, let's talk about that other part he kept saying, the 6K, right? Because this box, obviously it does say 6K. It has 6K decoding. But it, it's a big marketing tactic. Besides saying it's the only place you can get it and not really being transparent with the price, right? Obviously, he's doing some sort of additional service for you. But is he doing 6x additional service for you? Now, 8K, 6K really doesn't exist in TVs, right? The next TV models will have 8K. The options for 8K on the market right now are pretty much non-existent, okay? Nobody has an 8K TV. If you do, you're one out of... Uh, you know, very few people, most people don't even have 4K TVs yet. Um, so 6K is actually completely useless to everybody. Um, and the content in general just doesn't even go up to that, <laughs> that ability right now, uh, even 4K content, right? Like if you stream 4K content, for example, um, it, it's a huge file. If you've ever exported a video, like with what I do, or if you're a creator and you try to export in 4K, it goes from like 200 megabytes from 1080p all the way up to like 
two gigabytes, 2.5 gigabytes, three gigabytes. So it's it's so unrealistic while you're streaming in 99% of cases. So using the word 6K is literally just a marketing strategy that he knows that is completely useless to everybody. The 6K in general is completely useless, irrelevant to what he's selling 100%. Although they put it on the box, they put it on the box too as a marketing strategy, right? Obviously you 6K, oh, I need that over 4K, right? It, it's simple. Um, and one of the last things he does in a lot of his videos that I wanted to talk about is uh, uh, he talks about how cable companies are ripping people off. And to be fair, they are 100%. Netflix, I think, is ripping people off. Um, but so are you. <laughs> so, yes, you might be the slightly better option, maybe in this case, but you're still ripping people off. And we know for a fact, although he says a four-year warranty, I'd like to see him honor that. Maybe he does. Okay, I could be wrong about that since I don't have any proof on that. But I, I don't see him most likely honoring that four-year warranty, especially when these boxes break after a year, two years, three years. And what exactly is uh, uh, added in that four-year warranty? Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I, I just thought that'd be fun to break down and uh, just make you guys aware of some of these predatory practices that happen. This is not the only person and, you know, we, it's definitely one of the most expensive options I've seen. Um, so let me know down below in the comments what you think of this. And uh, if you like this kind of video, if you'd like me to uh, do more reviews talking about some of these uh, uh, seller options out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.